Hey YouTube, it's uh, Johnny Morgan and I'm back and I have a really great uh, video for you today because it's a project I've been working on for quite some time and it's restoring um, a vintage S550 sampler um, that I picked up locally for a hundred dollars and I decided to add a bunch of modifications to it and I'm going to show you some of those modifications today and uh, where you can get them and how you can put them into your sampler. So. Here's the, here's the S50 right here. And uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna take you inside it and show you uh, what I did to it. All right, cheers. Okay, here we have the S50 on uh, my studio desk and I got the top off it and open and the S50 is um, pretty basic on the inside, the CPUs, there's your memory. Um, classic stuff, power supply, so not, not a whole lot going on there. It's all in one motherboard. Um, what I always do though, is I replace the, I replace the um, power jack with a three prong jack, um, as you can see. And, uh, you know, that's one of the first things I do with a lot of the old, old Roland samplers and I ground, put a ground pin on there. Um, and that just gives it some extra protection because um, I know, and it's also a pain in the ass trying to, you know, deal with the Roland two prong jack sometimes. Um, so that's one thing I do. I also recap the power supply. So um, I put a couple new capacitors in here on the power supply and uh, that just gives it a little bit more life here and takes some of the noise. One thing I did as well is I, um, I recapped the input board um, and the mouse board and my mouse was causing some problems. Um, it was moving erratically. So, um, that helped. And also, um, I resoldered all the jacks on the jack board here. Um, as it, uh, you know, they, they did get a bit loose, I think just from patching in and, and such. So yeah, the S550 is actually a little bit interesting too, because it actually has two sides to it. So this is where all the fun stuff is on the other side. So I'm flipping it over and you can see here, and this is where it gets, uh, gets pretty interesting. Uh, the first thing I did, uh, just ignore this stuff. The first thing I did was put in the hard drive, um, SCSI interface board, which actually kind of attaches to a connector, uh, that goes through the, the metal panel here. And that can be found on, on eBay. Um, it's an aftermarket kit, so it's not the same form factor as the original board, which actually, which actually sat, I think, about here um, and then connected via a cable uh, or something like that. Yeah, so this board is much smaller, and I actually just uh, attached it with double-sided uh, sticky tape, some really, really strong sticky tape. And um, that's actually one of my favorite things to use is, uh, is ultra-strong uh, sticky tape. It's probably not great for people that live in really hot climates or something. I, I don't know, but it seems to be fine for everything I do. Um, and then the second thing um, I bought was the SCSI to SD card, which actually I've attached via a screw here. And I'm going to stick that down with a bit more sticky tape uh, here. And so the SCSI to HD card, um, you can also find on eBay. I'll put the link up. Um, and that's great, a great card because it basically replaces a hard drive. And with these little uh, tiny SCSI, um, with these little tiny flash memory, you can actually put four 80 meg hard drives on it. And uh, they have instructions on how to do that. It wasn't as straightforward as I would, um, as I thought it would be to get that working, but it, it is working now and I do have sounds all loaded on it. And uh, that's great. So I have basically the entire Roland factory libraries uh, loaded onto four 80 megabyte SCSI hard drives on that. And um, that was the reason why I didn't put the GoTech um, USB drive in the front of it, which a lot of people do, um, because I just figured, you know, why bother? I can actually just load everything onto the SCSI drive and, and just keep the heart, the floppy in it. And uh, this way I've got it actually booting off the SCSI drive and um, I don't ever need to put USB sticks in it really ever again. 
Um, and then the last thing, and then, okay, so that, that attaches via a few connection cables because you're actually going from um, what looks like a small 30-pin um, connector and then it converts to a 25-pin um, connector and then back to a 50-pin wide SCSI via some connectors. Now, this the, the guys who sell this kit give you a few of them, but not all of them. So you have to um, source out um, the second connector to actually get it to the 50 pin wide pin. The nice thing is they actually put a power cord on the board where you can supply the SCSI to SD with the power from this board. That was super thoughtful of them. Otherwise you'd have to actually run your own power. Okay, the last thing I'd like to show you on the um, S550 is, um, is the video board that I always put on um, this aftermarket um, um, video board, which basically converts the old SCART uh, video to HDMI. So as you can see, I've got that nestled in here. It's a little tight um, and uh, that's coming out uh, this HDMI cable that I run out the back. Um, and you have to do have to run uh, the SCART connections to the back of the video um, board, uh, the video output on the S50 main board and power. And uh, that's all done um, here. I've actually got those connections running uh, to the back of the um, DIN connector for the SCART. And then I also hook the power up to the power supply. There's two very simple connections right there. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, as you can see, there's the modifications there uh, sitting in nicely. So once I uh, close that all up, basically I'll have my S550 self-contained with uh, the video output and um, four 80 megabyte hard drives with all the Roland factory sounds in there. And um, this is gonna be a really useful sampler for me. I'm really excited to get this uh, back into my studio. So. Um, I'm going to show you it uh, hooked up and running. Okay, I'm back and I've got the S550 set up in the rack up next to my Mac Plus here. And now for the final piece of the puzzle, we're going to uh, test out the MIDI. Okay, I've loaded up a standard MIDI file, an orbital track. Here it is. You may recognize it. Okay, that was the S550. I hope you enjoyed the video today um, of all the mods you can do to your S550. If you have one, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy all the Roland uh, factory sounds and all the sounds I'm gonna load into the 80 megabyte hard drives, the 480 megabyte hard drives. I've got one loaded up, so I've got a lot more sounds to put in it. Um, super happy with it. It's got a great sound. If you have an S550, um, give me a ping and I hope you can get some of these mods into your unit. Um, yeah, please subscribe. Lots more videos coming. I make one or two a week. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys find something interesting on my channel. All right. All the best.